Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Happy New Year. Our first show in the new year. Cheers. We survived Bomb Cyclops, was what, it called? What, a, bomb what a kickoff to this new year. Bomb, bomb Genesis. And bomb it had to Cyclone, do with the, the um, blizzard of 2018. The, the newscasts are saying, like, it's the first. Yeah, it's the first blizzard they're calling yeah. it. Yeah. Are there going to be more? I know. Well, the big issue was how the barometer dropped, and uh, it was definitely the tides. Oh my God, the yeah, the fear factor. I mean, on the news. I mean, we're all bat battling down the hatches and doing what we need to do and, and whatnot. But yeah, what a what an incredible storm! I was just praying all day yesterday that we wouldn't lose power. Did you guys? You didn't have any. No, we didn't lose power or anything. I mean, I think I was more shocked on seeing some of the posts of. You know, I have a friend who has a place in Kitchikatuit. Uh, uh, no, um, Situate. Oh, and um, oh her entire backyard was flooded right up to like, like she was taking pit. She lives in Upton, but she was taking. She was there. And they were taking pictures out her kitchen window, and where the back door is, the water was halfway oh, up. Yeah, it looked like rivers. Um, it looked like sandy, well, you know, the and, big And then um, Winthrop is basically trash, but the... Um, oh, Plum Island. D downtown Boston. It was up State Street. Oh, my yeah, God. There's, I wonder how much there's a little there. bridge that goes over the York River in York, Maine, called the Wiggly Bridge, and it's a, mostly like a walking bridge. Um, and it's this antique iron green bridge. And I, I sent that picture over to some friends. Um, it is, all you see is the top of the bridge. P-Town oh. was flooded. I don't, um, I mean, the vineyard didn't seem to get flooded. They had the high winds, but I haven't seen any the pictures. The vineyard actually is up high enough in Nantucket, yeah. though. Nantucket, yeah. Oh, my God. It's so, so, anyway, the tides are... Happy the New Year, right? right? Happy, <laughs> happy New Year. <laughs> Lord. So but I did get out yesterday <laughs> morning, before it was too bad, mm -hmm. about 10-ish in the morning, and took a really nice walk in the woods, had the dog out, yeah. and I'm laughing because she's, you know, this far to the ground, and <laughs> she was, you know, plowing through it, but it's beautiful, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's cold. It's I'm, cold. I'm not a winter fan at all. <laughs> I like and, it. Um, I just wish I could turn it on and off and get it when I want it, and then done. Right. You know, Andrew doesn't go on that sea term thing that his school has, but down at the Cape, um, where his school is, it's he gets they get really bad wind gusts and stuff like that. Maritime Academy, in case you but don't, the, um, follow us on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> but on um, Wednesday, we all got this e blast because the kids were supposed to be back. Cadets were supposed to be back on Friday, who were leaving on sea term this weekend. Mm -hmm. But because of the storm, they asked them to come in on Wednesday. Now, as a parent, I was livid reading this. You know, we're going to put you up. Um, their, do their dorm floors are called decks, and their dorms are called companies. We'll put you up in um, one open company, and um, you'll just camp out on sleeping bags in any deck you can grab. Mm -hmm. But there won't be any food service till Friday at noon because um, we've had to shut down food service. So these are kids that had to rearrange flights and come back from all over the country to get on this ship on right. this weekend. Well, and now the ship. Eat? Build, I guess pizza delivery, bring they stuff. They have that, yeah, you know, but, um, in the area. I was like, because, you know, parents pay for sea term. We pay for, like, you know, my kid is in, like, a winter co-op. You mm -hmm. pay for these things. Yeah. They get credit. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? There is no food? Yeah. <laughs> well, it, what a way it, to it was the definitely page. a challenge, but now we just have the dig out and the deep freeze. And you I dug out this I morning. I dug out this morning, but, you know, uh, I, I dug out yesterday. Strong. Oh, my God. But you know, turning the page on 2018, a lot of people were ready to see 2017 go. I mean, it was a you know tough year for many people, yep. and uh, you know just wild stuff happening. I lost my dad, but you know many people have, have things. It just seemed like there was this trend online that 20, 2017 was just over. So this, it just is ironic to me. So it's 2018, and we get slammed in the face, this you know, with this. With a, it's just crazy. It was definitely yeah. a, like wake a, up. It's 2018. Like, yeah. I know I have to send out our e-newsletter on, you know, Happy New Year from, you know, yeah. RHH. And I'll say, we did do a lot, though, in 2017. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, we yeah. gave a lot and stuff like a that. Good and 2017 recap, um, a lot of good things happened here in the town. Mm -hmm. um, we were, know, well, yeah. I mean, the, the majority of what's happened for the new school that will open exactly. will be, will ha all happen in 17. Mm -hmm. um, the library reopened. Mm. But, uh, I mean, and I was thinking as RHH, what we Town did, Hall reopened. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at some point Town Hall may reopen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In 2018, 
No, we have a lot to be uh, thankful for and, and, and proud of in terms of, you know, um, our abilities to support different um, organizations and, and things, you know, in town this past year. You know, we always wish we could do more. I always yes. feel that way, you know, but. I mean, we, we ended, you know, our giving for 2017 with our annual event of uh, Shopping for the Cause. And, we're, and the community really stepped up. Thank you, folks. The vendors were awesome. And, Absolutely. You know, HCA was, you know, the major benefactor of this. But then I started. The sole the, benefactor, let's be clear. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I started thinking back of the things that we've given to this year. So, yes. you know, the Hopping and Robotics Club, the Metro West Y, Live, oh, for, live yeah. for Evan, That's Keep right. Smiling for Abby, Abby, the Hoppington Library. Absolutely. Family Day. Yeah. Oh, that was a really major fireworks. one. The yeah. 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 We, uh, that, we, um, that we sponsored the staging and the sound equipment for that. Uh, Project yeah. Just Because. Um, the WICN Radio, we actually made a donation to. The Charles yeah. River Watershed Association we yep. mm -hmm. donated to. Um, ACLU we donated to. Oh my God. So we yeah. did a lot. We, I mean, I and it, it adds up to a lot. And, you know, it, it's because of these, you know, community supporters we have and people that see, you know, just the benefit of, you know, What's working the as a village. What's the RHH community? I well, mean, yes, the, the community supporters, you couldn't do it without them. And they're engaged because we have a large group that is also equally engaged. And, you know. Well, it's a thank you to both the community supporters mm -hmm. and and the RHH community at large, because right. you know it, it, this wouldn't all happen without all of them. Right. Um, and uh, and we recognize that. I mean, if we can't say it enough, honestly. And I know as we go into 2018, one of the things that we have decided to support is actually where we're sitting right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that you know really taking a active role in supporting HCAM in a greater way. Right. Yeah. Right. This is definitely one of our towns gems and jewels. Um, we really have a cool town. I think know. Of and this station has come so, so far. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, when we first moved here, it was, I don't even know if it was quite on. It was on, I think. But it was the kids jumping on a trampoline <laughs> but, where I would put the kids down to nap, and um, they would watch these high school boys jumping on a trampoline in someone's backyard. <laughs> and for the most part, that's what I remember. Physician Focus would be uh, on yeah. now and then. And, um, yeah, the I was, drawn, was very interesting back then. I was actually drawn to the music. Sometimes I'd scan. I wasn't, you know, initially a big watcher, but then there would be something about the, the, the music that would come on. I mean, wait, that's a cool tune. And I have it on, then you see the, the PowerPoint slides. Well, of the, the calendar. Activity. And the it was the, the, calendar. I think that the music that they choose is a good draw as yeah. well. And now there's more than one station. So, I mean, there's HCAM that's here, but there's also HCAM ED, which is actually at the high school. High school. Yes. And, you know, our general manager, Jim Cozen, is now also the teacher there teaching the mm -hmm. classes. Which is so cool. And, you know, from this station now becoming digital and. Speaking of which, I Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking by. <laughs> Ears burning. But the, um, and, and actually. And the equipment that's at the high school mm -hmm. is from here. So to give HCAM credit, We've actually had Hopkins High students go on to college to then professionally become involved in the yeah. industry, you know, doing Nat Geo shows right. and things like that. Um, uh, a high school friend of my oldest is just wrapping up his master's at the London School. I'm going to butcher it, um, yeah. but Steve Matter is getting his master's in, I don't know, cinematography, but Pretty, does, pretty I mean, critically really acclaimed. Nurtures. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. And the community workshops that are held here mm -hmm. mm. are how a lot of the youth have gotten involved yeah. in the first place. I know both my kids have gone through them. I've gone through it where we get these, you get crew calls. It's like, hey, can you come run a camera here? Right. Can you be back? But you learn everything from behind the editing desk mm -hmm. to everything. It's, it really is. It's amazing yeah. how, um, what a gem that, and, and what people and the community can have access to in terms of age camp. The forums, I really appreciate. You know, the educated uh, Hopkinson forums that are sometimes held, the, you know, before the, uh, you know, Town meeting the candidates and, and all the political stuff. That you can get, you know, not only see the... And it's become no, but even here. a bigger deal after you mentioned that town hall hasn't been open. Yeah. Right. This has actually become the hosting site for planning board and the selectmen's <laughs> meetings. Um, and I'll be honest, the quality of watching them taking place here than when they've been at town hall. Because um, they have the, everything here. Everything, it right. just seems better and it seems crisper. The view of it seems, you see the whole 
panel yeah. better. And um, no, it's fun. But right away, that you know, H camps like here's a meeting spot. Right. Yeah. Um, They're awesome. We've used it for the chamber early mornings. All right. So, so what else is so going on? So what? what turning yeah, twenty pages. Turning pages. Twenty eighteen. I mean, you know, somebody posted the other day about uh, not necessarily not not on RHH, but just uh, in my normal feed about not being a um, New Year's resolution kind of person, but. You know, there's this, it's always a sense of new year, fresh start. So you can't help but think about what would you do differently? What are you looking to do? Or well, so you know. what are you looking <laughs> to do? Oh wow, well, yes, I asked the question. I never like to be first to answer. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, you know, um, it, it's it's a transition year in a lot of ways, and um, you know, I'm just looking forward to what comes for just being ready. I exercise and, and uh, I see that as a theme. I mean, everybody does that, but there are a lot of people in town, a lot of women in town um, on RHH. I'm just enjoying the camaraderie around um, exercise, the 20 minute a day program. Yep. I think when, Wendy Schultz, I'm, Sh say, Shiman, I'm just saying names I'm wrong. Sure. I'm not looking at them, but she's awesome. And yeah. sort of been spearheading that. There have been I know, Amy diabet. Rachel, Amy and Bert, Bert and Bert, she's got that bet thing going diabet on that going I forgot on. to. Yeah, yeah, Kate. Yeah, so. yeah. So you know, you feel like you're doing, you know, so some of that. Well, mm -hmm. and and I will admit that um, mine is focusing on getting my aerobic fitness up. Mm -hmm. um, Soulmates, in I, fact. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're, well, I love that. S O L E mates. <laughs> yeah, for walking and, and getting people out. Yeah, but it's been too cold for me to even set foot out. <laughs> yep. Hey, well, walk that mall. Well, and Trails um, has a trail walk coming up if you want to. If it's not do too winter, bitterly cold, I, I did. Winter trail see that. walk, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's coming up. But yeah, my theme is I want to eat a little more healthier. Yep, yep. I want to get my aerobic fitness up. Um, Focusing on um, trying to get life balance, yeah. business, but also you know, as I'm getting a little older, I'd like to you, you know have that balance. A, a little more um, playtime or just me time, um, you know. Yeah. Uh, and um, seeing what know, happens. Huh? I, I will <laughs> tell you though, I'm doing the stereotypical, looking around, and going, okay, I need to. Clean the house, you know, give it a thorough once over, <laughs> reclaim this, throw out that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, how about you, darling? What are you thinking about? Well, I mean, I have to exercise. I don't enjoy it. So, but um, I think my, I want to purge a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I realize I've saved so much stuff and literally bins of papers. Oh. And so it's a lot of papers I want to get well, rid of. Well, get rid of it now because, you know, that, that, that post online <gasps> about how. Um, I guess China isn't buying U.S.'s recyclable paper the same way, or, you know, it, it may not be, it's going to be maybe harder to get rid of a lot of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was actually a sobering picture of the behind yeah, Harvey's, Harvey's of all the, the, the tons of um, stuff, and that most of it accumulated the last two weeks. Right, because apparently there's been a change, what I read, in what um, the Chinese are willing to accept in terms of the type of trash, recyclables, because they make stuff out of all of our, I guess we sell our recyclable stuff yeah. in large, you know, the big so, companies do. You know what? And they're get, being picky for their own environmental reasons. And well, so and that's also just, yeah, to, you know, yeah, we political. pissed them off politically. Right. But I guess, you but know, it scared me because I'm like, yeah, how can we, I think we have to really care reduce. about, reduce, yeah, reduce, you know, use. how do we, um, stop using paper. How do we become more paperless? Right. And it's not just paper; it's plastic. I, it. I will yeah. tell you. I one of my resolutions is to use fewer plastic bottles and mm -hmm. plastic bags. Mm -hmm. you know, how do I bring down my footprint, my That's carbon right. footprint? That's well, right. our, currently, our board of health is actually looking at how to potentially. I don't know if it will happen in 2018, but actually not allow plastic bags in Harvard. Well, a lot of the towns. Did Boston do it? I mean, aren't they? A lot, a lot of cities and towns. And mm -hmm. then I put a post on RHH last night or this morning that is what uh, Portland has done where we comp we have a compost bin in our back, but the um, you can yes. actually put out a, a thing of compost, like a pail, and then they, they'll pick it up. And then if you want recycled compost, like for your garden, they'll mm -hmm. drop off a bag that's been already oh, processed. Yeah. Um, growing up, we had this thing in our backyard, and I mean, I didn't grow up far from here. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a pig farmer, and they had these swill buckets that were in the ground, mm -hmm. and he came by every week and picked up your compost. 
dumped it in the back, and it was his food for his pigs. Yeah. But yeah. so it's it's not yeah. it's not a concept that <coughs> hasn't been done here before. We have to go old school to, well, to be able to reduce our, our I mean, environmental it is, footprint. It is. Um, I would love to see the town consider both plastic bags and plastic bottles too, yeah. water bottles and all the other, because it, it's yeah. such. I mean, you see these footages, you think, oh, our landfills don't get into the ocean. Yes, oh. oh, yeah. And we've got these trash islands, and now there's one in the Caribbean. Oh, and they're that's you know they're everywhere, and you're just, just but brokenhearted. Yes, the market has gotten everybody addicted to um, you know individual water bottles. Yep. You know, and um, to your point, I, you know that's such a. I wish we could get rid of that too. We all need to just get those insulated, good, you know, so safe there's, bottles. So there's new products coming out yeah. that are. Um, uh, have a decent shelf life, mm -hmm. but they are biodegradable. So they're uh, not plastic, yeah. they're plant-based. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been seeing them pop up in food containers uh, that Ooh. when you have doggy bags yeah. um, and the variety, there's actually new plastic bags out that they're not plastic bags, they're plant-based. You know, I always often though, though thought that paper was wood-based and would then therefore be more biodegradable, obviously, than plastic. What happens is the way they process it, mm. they bleach it, oh. they put inks on it, oh, they put, it. you know, brown yeah. paper is probably better, mm -hmm. but you add all that other crap to it and it yeah. has a shelf life of... Because, you know, we used to get takeout food, well, at least, you know, in Asian <laughs> restaurants, you'd get it in a box. And that's gone now. It's Everything is in plastic. We are like, if I had... A dollar for every piece well, of plastic container. container. I mean, I take that's what half my recycle is, is recycled plastic containers from takeout. And, you know, you open up the cupboard and they're falling out. <laughs> I mean, like, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and we're and, only two people, barely. Well, I mean, we worked with a company um, years ago that has gotten sold and got actually moved overseas. But um, they took um, plastic bottles pulverize them somehow. They were made in a thread, and um, the company made unbelievably clo great clothing on, on the competition level of um, North yeah. Face and what's the one that begins with a P? Pagno, Pagno. Uh, Patagonia. Right. The guy who founded this company had come, was their vice president, and um, it actually be that company is actually who bought them and then well, sold them overseas. Well, but the, the, you if, know, there's things you can do with it that aren't. I mean, I buy a lot of bamboo socks. Right, yeah. right. Well, you know, if, if the Chinese are buying or were buying, you know, all of our tonnage of crap like that to remake into many other things, I don't know why America isn't doing that. There is a company, and I don't know if it's an American company or not, that's been, been advertising online for women's shoes. Oh, Roth Rothy. Rothy, and they are sharp, and they're expensive, but they're made from recyclable. You, they're dressy, and you can throw them in the washing machine because there's something plastic in them. You know, they're, it, they're, but they're cute. I think, uh, I think oh, Ellen cool. Rutter has a pair. I, would, she, I think she well, posted. A couple of my friends have pairs. I'd like to see them on somebody. And I asked her, are they comfortable? And they That's said, what they're Absolutely. supposed to be like, sneaker comfortable. And, you know, I'm always They're flat. Yeah. I'll be the, the real guinea pig because I'm so hard on shoes. Yeah. So I should buy a pair of shoes. Well, like shoe they hold up like to most women. You know, I like, I don't know. I'm well, we're going to be in boots for a while. Well, oh, yeah, we're in them today. Yeah, look at this one. <laughs> Yours are cute. The red, and I love I the cowboy. Well, mine are yeah. snow boots. Oh, these are good. snow yeah. boots. Yeah. And, uh, and, yep. But they're definitely. I mean, we've got, boots. you know, some major changes coming up in town, too. So, Ooh. I mean, that things are, you know, coming up for consideration. I mean, Monday. It's already people can start thinking about whether or not they want to run for office. The um, nomination. Right. How you want to take open positions? positions? There yeah. are 14 open positions. Wow. What are they? Do you remember offhand? Uh, a few of them? A few of them. There's two selectmen. Anyone want to run for selectmen? Woo, there, big there, job. There's two open selectmen seats. But there's um, 14 oh. nomination papers come out on Monday. Um, on Tuesday night at the Senior Center is the um, first uh, public uh, forum for the downtown corridor. Oh. So the people from BHB, uh, the um, architects, things like that, will all be involved in that and a chance for the public forum. And then the Is first Marathon set... Is Marathon Waste in that as well? The little, mm -hmm. to get rid of that little... Uh, right. Is they, that part of the... the Marathon mission? Way was just voted on by the Historic so, Commission to stay. Yeah. Okay, so. that, and that was just oh, last I night. I like it. So, um, I wouldn't have cried, but so, I'm glad to be So whatever they'll be showing on Tuesday night will be showing with Marathon Way okay. existing. Oh, so it does um, mm -hmm. And then the very first Saturday morning in um, February, 
we'll be back at the Senior Center, and that is the first presentation of um, options for center schools reuse. Oh, so that people oh. realize that, you know, and that's coming up pretty quick. I mean, mm -hmm. this is, that school will get decommissioned like a week after, within weeks of mm. when school closes this year. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a property the town owns and what we should do with it. Wow. Um, I mean, and even one day this week, the kids were in there, their first day back after the thing, and it oh, was God. so cold, yeah. they, 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 got, they got dismissed early. And it, yeah. that's like a parent nightmare when you work. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was reading that because there was not a lot of heads up, and I'm thinking, how the hell do these parents, they've just gone to work, and now they're hearing, oh, the kids are cold coming and back. Up. Yeah. Then they get the, then, um, you know, then they're, then they're off. They go back for one day. Then they're off the next day for a snow day. Then they have a two-hour delay today. Mm. It, literally next week is really. I do not miss those days. I do not miss those days. Yeah, my, with my like, phone oh. ringing at 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, you get the I got superintendent the messages. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least. We didn't have Nowadays. that back then. <laughs> exactly. You had to scroll, find a TV station, hope to find the TV station. And watch the out for yeah. That was the and only way you knew. It's like, oh, uh, but I think it's, you know, I still like to watch it on, like, TV and, or something. I remember, like, laying in bed as a kid, and um, my right, mother right, would right. listen to WSRS yeah. radio in Worcester, and then, you know, you'd hear, like, you'd think, and you get all excited, and you'd hear the, but even now, if I see, like, Ashland or Regis pop up, I get, like, inside excited, like, oh, Snow Day. It's like, yeah, I don't it's go funny. to school. It's funny. Don't come back. <laughs> um, but, well, yeah, but you think it's thankful for all this technology and all this stuff. Uh, so, yeah. It's got every it easy. Cell, every cell phone rings, all the texts come in, email, and then, and then, the, and then the landline. The whole also, house is lit up. Ding, and ding, and ding, they ding. go off at different times. Oh. So it's really weird. I don't, they, like, my, our the first server call, can't handle our first it all at once. came at 4.45 this morning, mm. and we were still getting calls up until like 6 o'clock. So I don't know if it's different numbers or how you, whenever you signed up. Well, back in the day, if you didn't have the television on, you wouldn't know. And, and I was traveling one time, and the kids always tell the story of the morning, because you know, Brad was not, like, into having TV on. He thought that just would, you know. So it was a quiet morning. He was getting the kids off to school. Kira was driving at that time, so she drove Evan in, and it was a two-hour delay. And they came back furious because school wasn't open. And their father, they, their father <laughs> hadn't, because we hadn't, he didn't have the TV on, and we didn't see the scrolling at the bottom that would tell you about a two-hour delay. They, will, they don't let him live that down to this day. But that's how old, old school old tech school. we had to rely on, and it worked. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm trying to remember when we were kids how we got notified when I had snow days. Ours and was the radio. We listened I think to the radio. radio. It was the radio. Yeah. radio. And they that would was go through. And they, that's that's right. what it was. on the radio. Yeah. And, and that was it. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we also would listen to the radio even, Even here. here, exactly. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh no, we'd buckle up. Once you heard Amesbury, you knew Ashland was coming up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we had like, the way to the H's. You know, that's yeah, you know, it was like, you know, there's Halstead, <laughs> Hopedale. Okay. <laughs> and my high school uh, was Woodward, so we had to wait for the W's to be all day. And it was always a kiss of death when you saw that it had just, yeah. like, you're, you, you hit you the, missed your alphabet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I've got to go all the way through it. Yeah. But, I, but I think though, we also have to do, even with that, there are things that we, one, I, I'm not sure that anyway, back to that the, the, um, the <laughs> parents are the only ones that need to know that the schools are closed. Yeah. I think actually the community should know. So whether there should be something that there's a reverse 911 that goes out to say, mm -hmm. listen, just as an FYI, these things are going in, because there are things that interrelate with the schools yeah. being open or closed. But like yesterday with the snowstorm, you know, all town meetings were closed. Town hall, all yeah. town. There was there, there. I think there should be a reverse nine one one letting you know these things. I mean, I know. If I you don't want to hear it, you can always hang up. But you know, you can get like the or whole something that, that that you know what's going on in your community. Right. Um, I mean, I think we have the ability. I mean, we have the ability to, to go to the town website, yeah. things like that. But that's yeah. But something coming at you versus yeah. going to seek it out. Yeah. Well, well have we gotten that bad that it has to be, come to us as opposed to well, being you, active? Yeah. yeah. I don't well, know. we're so used to know. everything coming at us now. It's like, well, I can pick up this and I can find out what's going on everything. everywhere. You know, I know. Sometimes so great. I have to tell you, like yesterday, I did some work, but other than my work, I really stayed off. Most of social media, I, I checked it a few times, mm -hmm. but I didn't like play on it the whole time. And uh, you know, I really sometimes I like to unplug because at times I feel like so much stuff comes to me, and then I get sucked in. Oh yeah, we totally. ended up having to. like a 
family game of risk at one oh, point. Oh, that's fun. fun. Well, yeah. I, I lost Asia fairly quickly. And then, <laughs> <laughs> that's a big, that's a big oh, loss. No. <laughs> and, and then I just started knocking over people. But, I have um, to tell you, though. That's we play a lot of board games. So that's fun. one of my favorites. And we did a lot of that over the holidays just because we had more people around. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's a little hard when there's just two of you. I guess we could play cards, but... Um, it's kind of fun to, yeah. to checkers play. works well too. Yeah. Chess, oh God, you know, I know. Chess makes me think too much. I, I can. Yeah. I mean, I come downstairs often, and Andrew and Katie are just playing chess on the coffee it's table. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so, uh, is that yeah? Busy, busy time, and happy new year, and yeah. looking forward to more. And you know, I, I, one of the goals is to not uh, give in to cabin fever, and to try to really make, you know, efforts to get out and about, even despite the cold weather and whatever. Well, in one January, of the things coming up in a couple of weeks that we tried to do last year is have that RHH night out with hot acoustics, oh, which is yes, coming up January 13th. Up. Okay. Yeah. That's true. <coughs> You're up for that. Hot playing on the 13th and, and We tried to do it last year. It was a snowstorm. So right. hopefully we will oh, be spared that so we well, can get out there and get some we already had on the, the dance We already floor. had the first blizzard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and I have to tell you, after this discussion, I'm going to really try to focus on carbon footprint, particularly in the plastics. That's, to me, a goal. That's right. All right. All right. All right. Cheers. Happy, Cheers. New, Happy new, new Year. Year. find yourself feeling down in winter or if you experience depression through the year does it get worse in the colder and darker months I'm here to tell you about winter depression and what you can do that may be helpful seasonal affective disorder or sad is a type of depression that tends to occur in the fall you may lose your energy and motivation you may feel sluggish agitated distracted hopeless and you may have problems with sleeping your appetite or suicidal thoughts sad can lead to social withdrawal problems with school or work, and substance abuse. Here's the good news. You can talk with your primary care physician, your psychiatrist, or mental health professional. There are effective treatments such as counseling, light box therapy, or medication. Sometimes we feel bad in the fall and winter anyway, especially during the holidays. But if a mood slump continues for days or weeks, don't wait. Talk with your doctor or counselor for more information and support. My son had a drinking problem at college. I'm glad a friend suggested Al-Anon Family Groups. Is someone's drinking troubling you? You might be surprised at what you can learn in an Al-Anon Family Group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to alanon.org.